Holly Maynard is at RIT this morning. That's right. She's with glass artist Nancy Gong. Hey, Holly. Hey, good morning. You got you know how you guys we pass so many uh, works of public art in our life and a lot of times we just walk on by and then other times we actually stand and we stare and we think about it. Well, what's nice about this morning is that we're taking a look at a piece of public art by Nancy Gong. She's done art here in Rochester for 30 years now and we're getting a look at the meaning behind it and we're seeing the artwork come alive. We're at RIT at the Innovation Center here, which is not done yet. That is still a work in progress too. Take a look though at the piece that uh, Nancy is working on now. We're talking about 13 panels of glass that are about more than 400 pounds each and more than 10 feet high. This is huge. And Nancy said to me earlier, Holly, it has to look ugly before it looks better. So in case you're at home going, wait, what's all this stuff? What is that about? Nancy, what is it about? Well, this is this is a paint or a, I'm sorry, it's a glue that's applied to an etched surface. So before, before I can create this texture, everything had to be etched. So a solid, soft, mm -hmm. matte white finish. This hot molten glue gets painted onto the design area and it dries. It'll look like this and when it starts to dry, it'll break, it'll start to curl up and mm -hmm. separate from the glass, leaving this hand chipped texture behind. So when they came to you with the initial idea for this project, that you were gonna have 13 different panels of glass and how did you even come up with the concept that you were gonna to try to relate it to science and technology? Well, they were originally thinking about a wave. Mm -hmm. And I asked them if the wave meant anything, and they said no. And I said, well, it would be nice if the wave meant something. So then I saw a program on PBS, and it was about the Bose-Einstein condensate theory. Mm -hmm. And someone told me that that is what the super collider in England is trying to prove. So, and I really thought the wave was beautiful. It's a way spread out wave and it comes together really tight and starts getting really, really tall. And you can see that happening here, right? You've got the wave, you can see as it goes through all the panels and then eventually they get really tall, like you were mentioning. Right, right. And then I, what, I, <clears throat> what I've done to interpret it artistically is I've created some of the texture on the front and back surface so it has a different shade of white mm -hmm. and then some on the front surface and then some on the back surface. And so that adds a little bit of dimension to the design. Yeah. And I've combined that with some solid etching. So different shades of white and some really cool textures. How long have you been working on this so far? I've been working on it since January. Mm -hmm. And I've been on site for three, four weeks. And when do you think you'll be done? Um, another week, week and a half. Yeah. Well, coming up uh, in the next half hour, Norma and Evan, we're going to talk about how you actually put this into place. I mean, think about it. These huge panels of glass and having to fit them perfectly here in this space. So it was a big process, a big long process. And Nancy's yeah. going to tell us about that coming up. And think too, she met with astrophysicists and mathematicians to really put a lot of thought into her, her design here. Yeah, I just hate to think of having to clean that with Windex. Can you imagine having to clean the <laughs> smudges off that thing? Oh. I bet, you, I bet you she's good at math. <laughs> I think so. Nancy is. She's All right. an artist and a mathematician.